Hello friends, welcome to Ansys Tutor. In this video, we are going to analyze natural convection between two sine wave type observer plates of a cross corrugated solar air heater. It is a cross corrugated solar air heater. The top sine wave absorber plate is at a temperature of 300 Kelvin. The bottom absorber plate is at a temperature of 310 Kelvin. The absorber plates tilted at a 30 degree angle to the ground level. We need to find out the heat transfer between the two plates due to natural convection. We need to first create this geometry using the ANSYS space clamp design modeler. For this, right click on geometry and select new space clamp geometry. This is the space clamp window. Make the sketch normal to the screen. Select the new plane as XY. Now we need to select this equation option. If you are using the space clamp for the first time, then this equation option might not be appear in your screen. So for this, you need to add it manually. We have a video regarding this in our channel how to enable this equation if you have not enabled it then go to the link given in the description and enable this equation option so that we could draw the various geometries using these equations select sine wave from this curve list now we need to insert the various parameter for the sine wave the length is 1000 now put the value of amplitude keep it as 15 and period is 15.91 this has been calculated for 10 sine wave cycles now click on this tick icon so the sketching would be completed now we are going to convert this curve to a 2d surface using this pool option Select the sketch and drag the cursor along the z-axis under the dimension as 1000 millimeter. This is the 2D surface generated with zero thickness. Now we are going to add thickness to this surface. For this, again use this pool, op pool option. Select the surface. and drag along y direction enter the value as 5 mm now thickness has been added to the surface now we are going to duplicate this geometry select the move option then click on this geometry now enable the create patterns option click on the y axis and drag along y axis Enter the offset distance as 200 mm. Then click on enter. Now rotate it to up to 90 degree. Now we are going to add thickness to this top surface. For this, select this surface. Then use again the pull tool and insert the thickness up to 5 mm. Now we are going to fill the material between the two observer plates. For this we are going to use the blend option. Select the two surfaces. Click on blend. Click on the ruled segment option and again click on the two surfaces. Now click on the tick icon so that the generation will be complete. Click on the tick icon. Now there is a body generated in between the two observer plates. Now we are going to combine all these three bodies.
Now select all this. Use the move tool to rotate it about 30 degree. Now rotate it about 30 degree. Geometry is complete. Now save this model and proceed for meshing. Right click on mesh and click on edit. Turn on the adaptive sizing option. Increase the resolution. Now generate the mesh. Now we are going to add a refinement to the top surface. Select refinement. Select the top surface well, then click on apply. Then generate again. Now insert the mapped face missing to the top surface. Select the face sizing, select the top surface and the bottom surface. Then click on apply. Make sure this map based on option is yes. Then gender the mesh. Select the bottom surface and add refinement. Now we are going to add the various name selections to the surface. Select the bottom surface and name it as bottom all. Select the top surface, name it as top wall. Select the entire fluid domain and name it as fluid domain. Right click on this mesh and click on update so that the mesh will be linked with this fluent solver. Select the double precision model and click on start. Now turn on the gravity, acceleration due to gravity. Put the value along negative y direction. Go to models. Turn on the viscous model. Select the laminar flow, click on OK, then turn on the energy equation. Now go to materials, select the air, change the default value of the density of the air to incompressible ideal gas, click on change create, then close. Now go to cell zone conditions, select the fluid domain, then click on edit. Check here whether the material has been assigned here or not, then click on apply, then close. Now go to boundary conditions, select the bottom wall. Then click on edit. Put the temperature boundary conditions to the bottom wall. 
which is 310 Kelvin then click on apply then close select the top wall click on edit then select thermal boundary conditions keep the default temperature as 300 now go to methods select the green gauss cell based method for better accuracy now go to monitors residuals decrease the residuals up to 10 to the power minus 30 go to initialization select standard initialization click on all zones then click on initialize now go to run calculation enter the number of iteration as 500 we are going to add a data file quantities select data file quantities add enthalpy from this list we are going to find out the enthalpy versus temperature plot and click on ok then click on calculate it will take some time calculation is complete now close this fluent and go to CFD post processing to see the results the CFD post processing window now go to locations inside a mid plane which is around 0.5 meter from the YZ plane select the plane as YZ here select the X distance as 0.5 meter and click on apply this is the mid plane now we are going to find out the contours variations temperature variations and velocity variations in this mid plane so select the location as the plane 1 variable as temperature and number of contours as 100 then click on apply this is the temperature contour turn up the wireframe is the temperature contour at the mid plane we can change the default legend view the precision and the value ticks similarly we are going to find out the velocity variations this is the velocity variations of this mid, mid plane we are going to insert a streamline to see the surface streamlines at this mid plane select the surface as plane 1 and click on apply this is the movement of these air particles in this fluid domain at this surface plane we can add a number of value ticks to this legend view go to different legend view decrease the precision and increase the value ticks up to 100 now let's find out the temperature variations along all these outer surfaces select all this control, control key and select all the bottom top and fluid surface then click on apply this is the temperature control along the entire body the variations of temperatures now we are going to insert a line enter the location then click on apply now we are going to draw the enthalpy versus temperature plot on this line then insert a chart select the line as the location On the x axis select temperature and the y axis select the enthalpy then click on apply with this let's conclude this demonstration
please comment below if you have any doubt regarding this tutorial please subscribe if you are new to our channel keep learning and keep exploring thank you